find my mic here. It's weird everything got quiet. Oh, okay, it's my headphones. Okay, I'm getting my headphones situated here. Turning everything off. Uh, I'm just going to go to this screen here because I'm not wearing a shirt, so I don't need to appear on the uh, on the monitor there. So we'll just start with this right here. Ah, I haven't seen one of these in person. So I figured I would come out and take a look. I'm in my uh, cutter. I guess the update changed some things. I had to put a new paint job on. I had to change some stuff around. I got the wrong voice on the, uh, uh, what you call it? The ship voice. I think it's got a uh, uh, Verity. I had uh, Victor, I thought, on here. What does it say? This is the Aurora. Am I looking at it upside down? I think so. I'm in solo, so these people should be NPCs. They say they're indestructible. You can't destroy them, so they're always in game. So this is actually somebody has actually owns this. And put it here. From what I understand. Looks like I can land on it if I wanted to. Say if I shoot at it, it's got guns that will take me out very quickly. I don't see any guns, but I don't know. It's probably not probably not the best ship to explore this thing. But I just wanted to see see what it looked like. I've never or I haven't I've seen them on the YouTube. I've never actually flown around them. So I hopped in my ship and sure enough there's like four or five of them in this system. And Headlights on. I'll probably never be able to afford one. I don't play enough on well, my Xbox account. I got what? Three hundred sixty-nine million. I don't think I've ever approached the billion mark, but I do have enough ships. I mean, my total assets, I think I'm worth more than what it's showing there. Is it debris, or am I still on the, or I'm on the underside of it? I'm on the underside of the darn thing, aren't I? It's a big ship. Yeah, this is the top of because that's where all the, that's where the landing bays are. Neat. What if I parked on it? I'm in solo mode, but what if the person is actually playing and I park on it and he takes off somewhere? I guess it would be interesting getting back. This thing's got a good jump range, so. Request confirmed. Move to your designated pad, Commander. Let's just see what it looks like. What are the odds of it taking off the minute I land? Probably not very good. Landing gear 
deployed. Why is the uh, thingy not showing up? Gives you like a much more, much more perspective when you're looking at it from here. I mean, wow. Let's try to get on the camera. It'd be neat to own one of these things, I guess, depending on what you want to do. I'd want to use it for exploration. That 500 light year jump range would be neat. But there's the cutter. Cutter's the biggest was the biggest player owned ship in the game and now I'm landed on the the biggest player owned ship in the game let's uh carrier services what was this right here go to hangar okay that's I just want to see what the hangar looks like let's do it for gun All full clothes. Don't forget your fuel scoop. Is this it? No, this is all it does. It don't spin you around like the station does, I guess. It seems funny. I'm assuming just the door closes on top of me. Credits. And that's just uh, by the basic ship. You got to be making some money in game to play the play one of those things. Anyway, it's very interesting. Want to head back to my starport. About that, I guess they do have some mass to them, don't they? There it goes. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Oh, that sounded like Victor just, just like a minute ago. It was uh, 
the other one, Verity. But maybe it's just the game having a hiccup. Things are a little changed a little bit. I guess the new update. And anyway, I am going to uh, dock. Oh, I'm actually hitting the atmosphere, or the upper part of the planetary well. Anyway, uh, that was a uh, fleet carrier. Interesting. Okay. Fleet carrier. I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.